G'day all, welcome to another round. So today we're going to start talking about arithmetic instructions in MMX and before we get stuck into that there's a little concept that we've got to know and that's uh, saturation arithmetic. So I've written a little spiel here of exactly what it is and uh, you can give that a read. I'll just scroll down. Um, I'll just sum it up. Pretty much what it comes down to is uh, in regular arithmetic, wraparound arithmetic, uh, if you add 1 to an unsigned byte that has 255 in it, uh, it wraps around to 0. Whereas in uh, saturating arithmetic or saturation arithmetic, if you add 1 to an unsigned byte with 255 in it, it stays at 255. So it pretty much just sets a cap at 255. And likewise 0 for underflow. So if you subtract 1 from uh, 0, and you're using unsigned saturation arithmetic, then uh, you'll still get zero. So these are the values just here that um, MMX caps these things to. Alrighty. So over here on our okay. So what we're going to look at today is the subtraction and addition algorithms. I'll just say sim d sub and add. Um, we're only looking at MMX for the time being, so it's always integers. MMX doesn't deal with floating point numbers, only integers. And as we went through in the uh, previous shoots, you've got a couple of options for an MMX register. Um, you can move a value into an MMX register and they can be two double words, uh, like that, so that's MM0. Or you can move four words into the same 64 bits or you can move 8 bytes into the same 64 bits. Okay, And pretty much the way that SIMD addition and subtraction works, and indeed most of the SIMD instructions or arithmetic instructions work, is that you've got two registers. MMX actually allows the second register to in fact be a memory operand. But um, two registers, so they've got the same data in them. Let's pretend for this example that they've got um, four D words in each. And you say sort of add, and it adds the corresponding D words and stores the answer in the first. So P add W, this is one of the MMX instructions, MM0, MM1 is going to have, if we had say 4, 6, 8, and 12, 14, 12, 6, and 9. Um, this instruction just here is going to perform four little additions. Let's just get rid of this one. Oh, hello. Okay, the instruction PRW is going to perform four little additions. Add each corresponding uh, word to its uh, word in uh, the second operand, and it's going to store the answer in MMO as four more uh, words. So this would be 18. Uh, then it'll add these two, this would be 18 as well, uh, 6 and that's 14, and this would be 21. Okay, but the really cool thing is that it does it all at once, all four additions at once, so we get four answers. Okay? Or, as we went through, if there's... Give me a bigger eraser, mate. If there's not words in here, maybe it's just two D words, like that, and so we've got 20, and 14, and 32, and 16. Okay, so if we're performing, um, P, it won't be P add W, it'll be P add D, uh, packed out of doubles. Okay, so in this example, uh, pretty much the same thing would happen, only since we're using two D words, there'd only be two additions at once, so the answer in the top or the, the zeroth element. I'm using this here as a... that's the zeroth and this is the first. Um, okay, so zero will be um, 52 and the second one will be, what's that, 20... 32? I think. Yeah, so that would be the result in MM0. And of course, if you're not using uh, D words or words, maybe you're using bytes and you're adding and, su and subtracting bytes, um, it won't perform two, it'll perform eight at once. So MMX is extremely good at uh, working with bytes, actually. Very, very fast. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8 and of course the answer would also have 8 little white answers in it. Does that make sense? And the same with subtraction, you don't have to do p add, you can obviously do p sub. Um, but these mnemonics just here that I'm writing, uh, there's a lot of them. Whoops. p add. Okay, so if I just rub all this stuff out with a massive eraser, cool. Better set that back again, actually. Okay, so if you think about it, um, you've got bytes, words, or D words that you can be using MMX registers for. Um, they can be signed or unsigned. Um, you can be using saturation arithmetic. Or, if you like, MMX can also quite comfortably handle wraparound arithmetic. And in addition to that, you can be subtracting or adding. So, sub slash add for a total of, what's that? That's uh, 6, 12, 24. And that's a lot of instructions to remember the mnemonics to. So, what I like to do is um, draw up a little table. And I've got my table. Yeah, no. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so this is uh, this is the table here that I've I've drawn up just to try and make it easier to select which instruction you want. So we just come back to the over here. Let me just get rid of all of this, and we'll do an example so that we can show how the table works. Let's say that we want to um, subtract uh, D words, and they're signed and we want wrap around arithmetic. Okay, so we've got two D words in MM1, for example, and we want to subtract from that two D words which we've stored in MM4. Okay, so we've stored these using um, a MOV queue from memory. Maybe we were passed um, D words in uh, RCX and RDX, and maybe we've got something like MOV queue, MM1, and Q word pointer, RCX, and that moves the um, two D words that RCX are pointing to into MM1, and then we've got morph Q, MM4, and you know, Q word pointer, RDX. Okay, then we want to add them both together and maybe store the answer in RCX. So we want add, and they're doubles. Actually, I happen to know that that's the um, mnemonic, but um, we'll go through why in just a second. MM1, M and MOV Q Q word pointer RCX MM1. Okay, so these four instructions just here are going to move uh, two D words from two arrays that have been pointed to and given to our method, and they're going to add the corresponding D words, so these top two, or the, the first two, and these ones, and then they're going to store the answer in that first array. Okay, but first of all, what we've got to do is figure out how do we get that P add D instruction. Rub, 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 rub. Okay, um, where are we? Okay, so this is my table. These are the instructions over here, and we've got to figure out a way to choose which instruction we want. So, beginning from the left-hand side over here, um, if I get a red pen, maybe this will be easier. Okay, beginning from the left-hand side, we're going to start colouring in big chunks of these columns. Okay, so the first thing that we had was um, right here, we want to subtract. Okay, so that means that the instruction we're looking for is one of these bottom 12. Okay, it's not an addition, it's one of the bottom 12. So we can colour that in. So, so far what we've decided is that from here, this P sub B and down is, uh, yeah, that's our instruction is one of those. Oh, I want to also mention that um, sometimes, like you can see here, none, uh, there's no instruction that achieves double word saturation. Uh, you can't add or subtract with saturation if you're using double words. And also some of these instructions double up. So P add B, for example, can deal with signed or unsigned. And the same with P add W and P add D. Anyway, let's continue with our example. 
Okay, so we had um, D words, signed, and wrap. Let's see if we can find the instruction that we're after then. Okay, so for a start, they're D words, so we know that it's these bottom four here. Uh, they're signed, we said, so it's one of these two, the two signed instructions coming off the D words there. And we want wrap arithmetic, so it's right here. And we come out this side here, the very right hand side, with our instruction P sub D. Okay, so what I said before with um, the add was completely wrong since um, I wasn't actually adding, I decided to sub. Anyway. Um, so that's the instruction that we're looking for. P sub D. M, M1, M, M4 is going to do exactly this. Subtract D words, signed, and wrap arithmetic. Does that make sense? I hope so. Let's go through another example. Just rewind, rewind, rewind. Okay, let's say that maybe we want to add um, unsigned words using saturation. Okay, so we've got Uh, two little arrays of four words each. Let's just put them in MM0 and MM1. And they've got four words each. And we want A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D. We want to add both of the A's together and both of the B's together, both of the C's together, both of the D's together. Uh, we want the CPU to treat them as unsigned words and we want to saturate. Okay, so we don't want to go out the top of an unsigned word. Sort of 64,000 odd. Alright, let's find the instruction that we're after. First of all, we rub all that out. We've done that one. And I get my red pen. Let me get a blue pen. Oh, that might be a bit dark. Okay, I'll get that colour. Alright, so it was addition that we were doing, so we know that it's one of the top 12 instructions. Let's colour this in. There we go, sort of purple more than anything. Phantom. Alrighty, what else do we have? Oops. Okay, unsigned words with saturation. Okay, so they're words, we know that it's one of these four now. We just have to whittle it down and down and down until we reach our final instruction. And we said they were unsigned, so it's one of these two. Finally, we said that we wanted saturation arithmetic. And here is our instruction, P add U S W. So we come back over to our code, we got P add U S W. M M zero. And this instruction just here is going to achieve exactly that. Add unsigned words with saturation. Okay, some things to note, really. Uh, you might have noticed that the instructions in the uh, far right-hand column in the table, uh, they're not just random letters. So let's deconstruct them a bit, shall we? Uh, first of all, we've got packed. The P at the start means packed, and uh, that's as opposed to scalar. So regular x86 instructions that we we're looking at use scalar arithmetic or arithmetic on one value at a time. Uh, MMX is SIMD, so it uses packed arithmetic. We're doing four instructions at the same time. P for packed. Uh, add is obviously add, or addition. Uh, the U just here is unsigned. Uh, the S just here is saturation. And the W is words. Okay, so the I instruction itself is constructed from letters that sort of hint as a mnemonic uh, as to the meaning of the instruction. If we have a look at some of the other ones, we can see exactly the same thing. So P add USB is packed add of unsigned saturation and bytes. Uh, P add W is uh, packed add of words, and that works for signed or unsigned, but uh, it uses wraparound arithmetic. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's pretty easy. Uh, P sub SB is a uh, packed subtraction with uh, signed saturation and bytes, so the S just here sort of stands for both signed and saturate. Alrighty. 
Um, okay, so we might just do one more example, I think, and uh, then. Okay, so just a quick. Um, one. Uh, just a quick demonstration of exactly how you'd use that. Let's say that we've got. Um, add eight bytes. That's a proc. And we'll say that for this particular um, procedure, we've been given RCX equals um, char star, so an unsigned byte array A, and RDX equals char star B, another unsigned byte array. And we'll say that there's eight bytes in both, and the user wants us to add them both together and store the answer in A. By the user, I mean us. We want to do that. All right, how do you do that? Well, we've got mov uh, q m m zero and q word p t r r c x. Okay, so what's that going to do? It's pretty easy. That's going to fill r c x, not r c x. Sorry, that's going to fill um, m m zero with the bytes of the array r c x is pointing to. So maybe r c x has got whatever really who cares so that's the zeroth right there and I mean this is the seventh down here and the next thing we can do is P add actually we've got to decide which 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 add we want okay so we're adding bytes uh, they're unsigned and we didn't say before but let's say that we want saturating saturation arithmetic okay Give me a yellow, yellow pen. Okay, it's addition, so it's one of these. Uh, they're bytes, so it's one of these four. I think we said they were signed, so it's one of these. Oh, wait a minute. Char. I can't remember what char is, unsigned or signed. Okay, yep, signed, and we said that we want saturated in arithmetic, so it's here. And finally, the instruction that we're after is P add SB. So, that's it, pretty much. That's all we've got to know. Um, we just do the addition with P add SB. Uh, okay, I'll use the... Um, MMX register and memory operand as my two parameters. Uh, do note that you can't use a memory operand as the first here. Uh, these instructions only allow memory operand as the second parameter. And finally, mov q q word ptr rcx and mmo. And there you have it, folks. Add eight bytes and p. Okay, so what we've effectively done here is with um, three instructions, no loop whatsoever, um, we've achieved exactly this. We've added two small byte arrays with eight bytes each. We've added them both together and stored the answer in the first array. Just a little example. Okay, well, that's about all I wanted to go through, so thank you for listening. See you later.